Okay, this is gonna be interesting. What is everyone? Welcome out to the PBA Week One Pickums video. Basically, this is me guessing on who I think. Well, is it guessing? I don't know. Telling you guys who I think is going to win each Week One battle. Um, so as you can see, the first two teams are on the screen already. Uh, we are gonna pop up showdown soon. Uh, so you guys will be able to see it down here on all the teams Uh, cause it's just me pointing out a few things to see if a few Pokemon have certain moves, etc Uh, and also it's to full out the screen Because if I stretch out these two Pokemon sprite things Uh, then those tick stuff Start to get very blurry, so You can see the logo on the bottom left, I believe Uh, you can also see this is the Ox The Oxville uh, Ashawatz versus the Black City Kirams. You should be able to <laughs> know which teams is which. So over on the Oxville or Oxville, oh no, over on Caitlyn's side, um, which is the left side, she has Charizard G Max form or G Max Charizard Zero Aura, Seismitoad, Roserade, Inteleon, Espeon, Hitmonchan or Beetle, Sork, and Ferrocede, and Black City Kirams, also known as Zombie has G-Max, Grimmsnarl, Dragapult, Rini Uniclus, Sil Valley, all forms, Vaporeon, Pulliswine, Girder, Trapeon, Togemar, and Braviary. Um, so, I'm also gonna go over some stuff with just not straight out saying who I think it's gonna win, uh, cause I personally have not gone in depth looking at these teams before of this video. Um, I was obviously looking at the teams, uh, at the beginning of the draft, but after when I started to like, you know, go to sleep and stuff, and started people starting to pick then, then I started falling back. So some of these Pokemon, I didn't even know that they drafted. Alright. So I'm gonna just like point out a few things that come into my mind when I see about this matchup. Uh straight off the back What do I see? I see Seismitoad kinda doing some work against um their team, uh, considering the Black City Kirims don't have a grass type, I believe, yeah, they don't have a grass type, uh, unless they make Sil Valley grass type, which they could, um, with that Seismitone and the Inteleon there, I believe that's the only Pokemon that are weak to the grass type multi-attack, um, so that could be a thing, not sure, <laughs> um, also a thing is that Dragapult outspeeds Zero Aura, so I believe if Zero Aura comes, it might be Choice Scarfed. Sorry if I'm giving away any of your game plans or helping anyone else. <laughs> and you don't like that I'm helping your opponent? I'm sorry, alright. I'm just trying to think about stuff in my mind. Uh, webs could be nice in our Beetle to be able to slow down that Dragapult though, to make sure Zero Aura outspeeds. Also GMAX Charizard. I kind of see putting in work because you know it's all being Vaporeon and spam Fireblades against this, this team. Um, yeah, uh, I am gonna give you specifically who I think is gonna win by what differential. So this is what I'm trying to trying to go in. All right, so I'll pull out showdown now for you guys to see. Amazing. This is uh, Caitlyn's team. G Max Charizard, etc. Um, so then I'm gonna look over here. On that team, uh, up on the sprite stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Okay, um, I think this. I think all the battles are gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna say that every single time I go over a team. Um, what else do I see? Drapion could put in some work against Caitlyn's team. Um, I feel like main Pokemon that can take that out is Seismitoad. And or Beetle, and neither of those want to take a knockoff. Uh, size when I can, but it doesn't really want to take its leftovers off. Um, so that could be a thing that uh, Zombie brings. Um, also, Girder. Girder with like bulk up could put in pretty much work. Uh, but again, they do have the Orb Beetle and the Espeon right there. Uh, and G Max Charles, I can run like the, the flying move on it. <laughs> The G Max flying move. Um, I really want to see Toga tomorrow come, uh, but I feel like that kind of gets just straight on shut down. 
by a few of this Pokemon. Uh, Ferroseed or Beetle. Uh, not a Beetle. Ferroseed, Sock, Hitmonchan, and Seismitoad really shut down that man. Also, Fire Blast from Charizard. So, I don't think Togemaru is coming. <laughs> um, just because there's so many Pokemon that can fight that. Um, I don't know if I should guess the six Pokemon because that might help the opponent. <laughs> that might help the opponent of each team. Now I haven't been looking at that much on what can the what can the Black Sea Curiums do against the Caitlyn team. Um, what's kind of the big ass weaknesses? Reuniclus could do some stuff. Grimmsnarl could definitely set up some screens or just go in there and be offensive. Uh, Grimmsnarl, which I bet, I don't, I don't know, maybe they're expecting that, um, okay, we've already talked about this team for way too long, I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Caitlyn, but with a, with a 2-0, alright, which, I don't normally see Zombie lose a lot, but, okay, I'm just gonna go with that, alright, Zombie, sorry, you you may get too old, alright? Uh, we're actually going to see the results of these battles when it actually happens, and then it will be recorded at the end of the week, posted on my YouTube channel, so you guys will be able to see who actually wins. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm switching my answer. I'm sorry. I'm switching my answer. I know I should lock it in. I'm gonna switch up my answer. I'm saying zombie, uh, three zero. Uh, I know I was like, I was looking at the matchup and not really focusing on how good I think zombie actually is. Um, so yeah, zombie three zero. That's what I think is gonna happen. Okay, see you guys in the next Pokemon. I mean, the next teams. <laughs> This is another interesting matchup right here. We have the Tampa Bay Tyranitus facing the M Manatrix. I don't even know what their real M is, but the Manatrix. Uh, so the Tampa Bay Tyranitus, coached by Kieran, and the M Manatrix, coached by Cheezits. I believe that's his name. Um, Kieran being on the channel known widely, I believe. I don't know. Uh, but, Kieran drafted Snorlax, G-Max, well, we didn't actually draft that, but he traded it for it. So, G-Max, Snorlax, Corviknight, Dragasult, God of War, Mantine, Vrezion, Rhydon, Terminator, Clefairy, and Meowstic. And, uh, the Immanatrix, uh, Cheez-Its, drafted G-Max, Gengar, Clefable, Bisharp, Arcanine, Noivern, Mudsdale, Himmontuck, Quillfish, Sigilith and Gorgeist. Now, when I look at this match, I see Gengar putting in work. Alright, that's what I see. Um, but I also see, we're gonna scroll down a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to find out just if there's anything for, for that Kieran can really do against the Gengar. Um, I see a few things. Um, if you like ride on is a thing, but then the focus last, you know. Um, also, Corvana is a really good bulky Pokemon. Um, I don't know 100% what its special defense is. Sorry if my screen like does really weird stuff at the top here. Uh, but it's 85, so I don't know how good that is. <laughs> um, that's Kieran's own job to do calcs. Um, I also see Choice Scarf Gardevoir. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, help Kieran in any way. But, there's a few things he can do. Uh, also, man times, I just saw that. His special defense is really good. So, that's also an option. Um, and then when I look at uh, what... Or, what I click on that? Uh, what uh, is the biggest threat to uh, their team? Um, I would normally look at Corviknight. Um, which, they do have options for, they do have the Arcanine to intimidate it, and, uh, but I feel like that's only real option to take care of, like, a bulk up power, uh, whatever the move <laughs> is called, uh, power trip, um, 
or body press even for Bisharp, I'm not 100% sure. But I feel like Arcanine is your only option, and when... If you've got a Pokemon like Snorlax over on your team, you can really handle that, uh, that Arcanine. Also, you got a Manton that can still let a few of these Pokemon. Uh, obviously, oh, not the top three. Not the top three. That's actually major. Uh, well, it depends on the Clef Clefable's ability, but if it's a Magic Guard, then you can't click Toxic on it. You, you can, but it won't do any damage. Um, also, you can't Toxic a Poison type, so you can't Toxic Gengar. You can't Toxic a Steel type, so you can't Toxic a Piss Sharp. But the rest of these Pokemon, <laughs> and Koofers, okay, maybe Mantine with Toxic isn't the best thing. Um, <laughs> and Zinjimuth. Alright, this man gets Magic Guard as well. Um, so don't read that. Um, so yeah, I would see Mantine and Snorlax. I mean, there's also a right on. Uh, so yeah, um, I feel like... I would name three Pokemon from each team that I think is coming. I think that Gengar Team Max is coming. I think that Conflable is coming. And I think that Arcanine is coming. Over the Kieran's team, I think that Snorlax is coming. I think that Corviknight is coming. And I think Rhydon is coming. That was... I'm not suggesting them. That's just what I think is been. Alright. While looking at this matchup. Alright. Um... Now, it's obviously easier to vote for the MMA Netrix in this because Kieran's two last C tier Pokemon aren't great and uh, their two C tier Pokemon well their three C tier Pokemon are all pretty nice uh, him once up Quillfish, Sigilith and Core guys very nice Pokemon um, now I'm just talking about the bottom two from the C tier for Kieran because right on Turnator can actually use stuff uh, I don't know what Clefairy Mealster can do other than support. So, and Clefairy is like, you already have a card for it. So, I don't know what he's thinking there. Um, mm, this is hard. Because I see two things happening. I see one, uh, Kieran doing something, you know, that he doesn't normally do. And, uh, catching, catching the manager of God, uh, by running some weird ass set, like Assault Vest, Ride On, Twee Scarf, Garf, or Leftovers, Max Special Defense, Corviknight, uh, Left, just, that's not weird, but Leftovers, Mantine, something to break through the Gengar, and then when Gengar is gone, when Gengar dies, I think Kieran has the game. As long as he doesn't lose as much Pokemon at that moment, I think if Corviknight is still alive, when Gengar dies, uh, Kieran may have the game right there. Uh, now that obviously could change, considering some of the Pokemon, like him once upon Arcanine, but I think if he brings a Pokemon that can just straight out try to kill the Gengar very quickly, or do a ton of chip damage, um... Also, it's very good to like bring rocks and ride on and stuff like that just to whittle down the Gengar. Uh, so that's interesting. I am going to go with Kieran, but I'm going to go with Kieran with a 2 -0. I I know, Zombie, I said 3 0, and now it's a 2 0. Because these battlers are very good and they made some pretty nice teams. So I feel like 2 0 by Kieran. Um, I don't think it's going to be a 6 0 or etc. Uh, I think 2 0. By Kieran. Um, now that could obviously change. Okay, we're gonna go over to the next team now. Uh, the next week battle. Okay, see you guys in. Okay, this is another very good matchup. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy when this match happens. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna go crazy whether I watch it live or watch the battle replay. I feel like I'm gonna go wild. Um, because these two teams have two things, like when I first was like, you know, updating all this layout stuff, uh, and adding another Pokemon into here, um, cause if you don't know, I, I pause the video and then I change up the layout, uh, to then also, you know, import all these Pokemon, uh, from the team 1 to team 2 slots, 
Uh, and when I was going over it, when I first did the first team, I was like, holy shit, I'm probably going to be voting for Zord, the coach of the Heart Home Haxorus's on the left side. But then I started making the other team, uh, Al Alyssa, <laughs> I'm sorry, I said it wrong again, um, Alyssa something, alright, I started making the Boston Snoms team, and then I was like, or Beetle Dracovish? Like, you know, Webbs, Webbs Dracovish, or Webbs Spasimian, this, this could beat the team. Um... But I'm also kind of like, what are webs going to do against this team? Because, you know, most of the Pokemon are slow <laughs> already. And uh, they have their own webs. So it's a very interesting matchup because both the teams have webs. They both have Pokemon that are really good with webs. Um, this is... Okay. Here we go well with some stuff. Toxicity. Uh, can go in against basically everything. Like even if the Dug Tree isn't, like it can boom burst that man. Um, with with the Pond Rock ability exception. Um, but also or Beetle. Um, I don't think or Beetle comes. If it does, I'm gonna be very surprised. Uh, but if it does, it guaranteed most likely has sticky webs for a sand set up Escadrill. Um. That's that's what I think, and yeah, um, I think Dugtrio is gonna go in until Snorlax comes in. Um, I don't know what their count. Oh yeah, Pissimian. Okay, I was like, I don't know what their counter to Snorlax is. Um, also Willowis on the Galarian Kafgrigus, whatever that man's name was. Re, re run, runner, I just runner, I just. Don't know what that is. Okay, the the Galarian Cavagrigus. Um, this 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 man. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong team. Okay, <laughs> that man's. Uh, so this is gonna be hard for me to decide who I think is gonna win. Uh, actually, I'm just clicking on the same team. No oh, more. There we go. Uh, this man right here. Um, this is going to actually be hard. I mean, the last ones are hard as well, but this one is like... I don't know who is... Because what's this team's counter to Dracovish? Toxa, toxicity? Toxicity? Like, that's not real... Oh, Sylveon, okay. That's... I mean, the Bronze on com or Salazzle comes in. And he's like, yeet. Um, that's something. Um, so. I am going to go with the. Uh, <laughs> what am I going with? What am I going with? I want to go with the Boston Snoms. I was so close to picking the Heart Home Hack Services. I want to go with Boston Snoms. And. I think they're going to win by another 2-0. I see 2-0 with, uh, with, the, uh, the last run. I think it was Kieran. Uh, yeah, I see 2-0 with Kieran winning. Um, and I think that the Vossum Snobs are going to win 2-0. Did I say that Kieran's winning? I have zero idea. <laughs> I don't lose it that Kieran's winning, right? Let me check this. Yes, I did. I don't know why I took that. Okay. I think the Boston Snobs are going to win with another 2-0. Uh, and I'm only picking a 2-0 because I feel like they're going to lose a few Pokemon. Uh, especially when there's like an Asuka Drill and a Toxicity there. Um, but I feel like they're going to win. Uh, because their team is so well together. Uh, like, they just have to bring Tree on Persimian and the like... <laughs> If they were in those two, then they probably... Okay, Bronze Song, Dutrio, and Epistemian, they probably just win with those three, right? Um, so adding on more Pokemon would just be more chance to win. Uh, especially with a bloody Dracovich there. Um, so yeah, this is really hard, so don't take anything by except... Don't 
Don't take anything personal, right, Zord? <laughs> This is very hard. Okay, let's go with the next matchup. Okay, so next up we have Shine Spry, the coach of the Durham Durants, uh, versus the coach of the Durant City uh, Glissopods. Dude, that says Durant Town, but it's Durant City. Um, Glissopods, uh, which uh, their name is Surf Nape. Uh, their coach name is Surf Nape. Um, so. Uh, Shine Sprite's team is G-Max, Duraludon, Gengar, Obstacle, Ninjask, Torkoal, Venusaur, Rabidash, Galarian Fawn, Wishcash, Glade, Emerald, Tom Fan. Surf Nape's team, the coach of the Trans City, Glissopods, have Hatterini, G-Max, Terrakion, Mandibuzz, Flygon, Scavalier, Chandelure, Lantern, Rosalia, Avalog, and Greedent. Now, this is another interesting bloody matchup. I think they're all going to be interesting for the entire season, and I'm just going to keep saying that. <laughs> uh, also, disclaimer, do not be like, Oh, you didn't invite me! I hate you now! Etc. <laughs> Alright, uh, if you don't know what I just said, I just said don't be like, Oh, I hate you now because you didn't, or don't be in the Discord being like, I How dare you, blah, blah, don't vote for me. Don't think I'm gonna win, etc. Alright. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. If I didn't I if I didn't pick you to win, that's because of your matchup as a team. Not as you as a battler. Uh down straight, alright. It's it's what your team is like. Uh and how you can work your team. So this is just week one. I haven't seen anything from anyone about their teams, so I don't know how good everyone is going to use their team so basically next week I'm going to have a better going into this being like okay so I now know that this this coach knows how to use this Pokemon very well etc okay so when I look at this matchup I straight away see Duraludon you know I'd be like hey Duraludon can do some work it's not weak to fire blast anymore because of the dragon typing so that's normal uh, it's actually only weak to the Flygon and an Earthquake from the Rack. Oh, and a Close Combat. Okay, so Terrakion is getting into the Duraludon. Which is an okay counter, let's be honest. Um, I feel like the only way you're really going to take out a Terrakion is with like a Dragon Tantor, which cash. Uh, Glade. Um, also Venusaur, like a bulky Venusaur could probably take that out. Uh, so Terrakion shuts down Duraludon. Uh, Flygon is also nice for it, um, but I'm not sure if it gets Ice Beam or anything like that. Um, Fire Blast, you can, you can drill it on Fire Blast, the Escavalier, you can Flash Scan, Hatterene. So I feel like Terrakion is probably coming to this matchup, sorry if I'm spoiling your plans. But I also feel like Duraludon's coming, so the, uh, Shine Sprite is probably gonna have to find a counter, whether it's Witch Catch, whether it's Gallade, whether it's Venusaur. It's gonna have to find a counter to that Terrakion. Uh, if it's if he's gonna bring the uh, Duraludon, I would just say that. Uh, who the hell is texting me at this time? My man, still text me. We have to. <laughs> so, um, I also see Hatterene kind of coming, like a Trick Room Hatterene kind of working Trick Room into Chandelure and a Scavalier, because a Scavalier could do some stuff under Trick Room. Alright, because not under Trick Room, Duraludon kills with the Fire Blast, but under Trick Room, you can set up Swords Dances, and then if Duraludon comes in, thinking it can Fire Blast, you can go for a Drill Run. Sorry for spoiling your plans right now, but I'm just thinking of stuff. Um, set up Wish Cash could be kind of nice as well. Um, I'm not sure if it gets like Knock Off and stuff, but like Waterfall with Quake, just looking at that right now, it does pretty nice. Uh, cause Lantern doesn't have a levitate, I believe, so, yeah, you can earthquake that man, um, and you're not weak to it because there's no hidden powers here, so you can't hit him by grass, you knock you out, um, also, their best way to hit you is with a Roselia, so that's always not the best thing in the world, um, especially when you have a Galate. Galate could actually put in some pretty much work on its Surf Nape's team, um, now I don't know who I'm going to pick here, 
Because overall, I think Shine Sprite can win. Alright. But I also feel like if they don't get a good enough counter to Terrakion, especially a very offensive Terrakion, they're going to have a hard time to deal with that. Um, and then if they have like a clean up like Choice Scarf Chandelure in the back, like that's going to clean up their team. Um, they also got Sun on Tokel for Chlorophyll and Venusaur. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Shine Sprite for this one. Um, I've never seen Shine Sprite Bell, I don't think, unless he was the coach in the team league. I totally forgot. Alright. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go with Shine Sprite. Uh, I feel like I'm trusting my will into him. Um, use that in his chest wildly, you know? Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Shine Sprite. But what differential? I I don't want to say another two o. I I don't I don't want to I don't want to. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three o. So right now we've had two three o's and two two o's. We had a three o with zombie, um, and the three o with shine sprite. So those who I think are are getting three o victories and two o victories with Kieran and. Uh, the last coach that I did, uh, who is the last match, the last thing that I did was Alyssa and, uh, Zard. I totally forgot who I voted for that, but it's in the video, so I'm probably gonna watch it back later. Um, <laughs> that person, whoever that was, I did too over that as well. So, yeah. Um, there's no major, like, 6-0s yet that I think is happening. Um, so that's interesting. Okay, let's go to the next matchup. Okay, this is the next matchup. Uh, we have the Young Plumes. What is up with this logo? Why is it not up there? Okay, there we go. Young Plumes. Alright, Skinny Whisket. Uh, the spreadsheet guy. Um, <laughs> coming one-on-one -on -one with, uh, the best admin of all time. Uh, Vissy Klein, the coach of the Sydney Shamans. This... It's going to be a roller coaster. Now I've said that the other games are going to be very close. 3 O's, 2 O's, etc. Alright, but this one, even if the other ones are like 6 O's and 5 O's, etc., and if I get those ones wrong, I think this one's going to be a hell of a roller coaster. And I just got. Boy, they're, they're the same team. Oh my. <laughs> on, the, um, on the sheet thing, I. Of you guys seeing both teams. On the top right and left, I made the both the teams. Okay, there we go. Now you can see the Sydney Shamans team. Okay, Skinny Biscuits team is G Max Lapras, Gothitau, Mimikyu, Durant, Rotomo, Umbreon, Trapage, Colossal, Drampa, Marini. There we go. The next team is Vizzy Clan's team G Max Corvonite, Necrozma, Cinderace, Milotic, Tissarina, Corsola. Cursula, alright, Aromatisse, Raichu, Double-O, and Frostlass. Now, the reason I think this is going to be interesting is because, one, Necrozma, two, you got Ombreon to attack that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Um, also, Cinderace, that man is spamming with those Pyro Balls, I don't like your water type. Oh, you do have a Lapras, I suppose. I was like, your only water type is a Marini, what now? Uh, but you do have a Lapras. Um, what's a Corviknight? Like, uh, there's so many Pokemon that can do so many things on Visiclon's team, and I feel like it's gonna be going. Mm. I was about to say, I think Skinny's gonna lose. Um, but Skinny's my mate, my dude. <laughs> and I know what Skinny's plans are to, like, what, what what he plans to do with the team, obviously. Uh, because we did, we have a call before. Uh, and, like, I know what he, what his plan is in games to do with this team. Uh, so, like, why he drafted this team, basically. Um, and what he plans on every single member doing. 
Um, so, but I feel like Vasikon's team and Vasikon as a player is probably hard ass to break through, right? Like, obviously, when you look at the matchup, you'd be like, okay, there's a, there's a Trap Inch and there's a Marini. He's probably going to lose. But when you go in depth about it, like, Pira Song, Arena Trap, Disguise Mimikyu is pretty nice. Also, having the Umbreon there to attack the Necrozma, uh, Colossal can attack the Cinderace, um, Road to Mo goes after my Lodic. Also, they've got no ground type to. You know, evade those vault switches, those three like scarf or specs vault switches from Mo Roto Mo. Uh, also, Drampa does some stuff. Uh, I'm looking at uh, Vizicon's team, they don't have a dragon type. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they don't have a dragon type. So, they can't do dragon type things. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah, do do you could put in some work against this team though, like off the Corviknight's gun. Which you're gonna have to use Colossal or Lapras to be able to do that or trap it into like Thunderbolt or with Gothitel. Um Okay, screw it. I'm gonna say Skinny Biscuit with a 1 0. I knew either way I was gonna give it a 1 0. But I'm gonna say Skinny Biscuit with a 1 0 victory. Um, I don't wanna say 2 0, but I feel like it might be. Mm. I don't think it's gonna be a 4 0. I don't see what four Pokemon are going to be alive at that moment in time. Uh, like Lapras, Gothitelle, Mimikyu, and Rotom. Like, I don't think one of them will be alive at that moment in time. Um, I'm going to say another 2 -way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm going to say another 2 -way. I feel like two Pokemon will be alive when Skinny Bits get picked up the W over Visiclon. Visiclon, I'm sorry. I think you're gonna be amazing this season. Um, I wasn't. I was gonna do power rankings, uh, like straight after the draft. Um, but then obviously we had the grace period of the 24-hour transactions, and then we we come into the schedule, and now people are, like trying to make matches early and stuff like that. So I need to get the pick ons video out first. So now I'm like, uh, I don't really want to do a power ranks video anymore. Um, but if I was going to do a power ranks video. And when I was, I was going to rank Visiclon number one, because uh, I felt like his team was just very good. Um, like, all he was really missing is a dragon type, uh, which you don't need, uh, I, I, I would say. Uh, like, it's weak to ice and dragon, like, that's it, and like, I mean, and theory, but it doesn't have any immunities, and you don't need it. Alright, so, yeah, um, <laughs> sorry Vizclan, you're gonna be number one in power ranks because your team is super good, but I feel like, I'm, I'm a vote on Skinny, because I, I, Skinny has told me what a plans, what his plans are in weeks, and I feel like that plan, if he executes it really well, could beat down your team, um, and also, since you don't have a ground type, I mean, you do have right to with Volt Orb Absorb, actually. Uh, but since you don't have a ground type, I think that Rotom uh, would be able to just Volt Switch around. Um, I'm sorry again. Okay, so, this is going to be the end of this video now. This video is going on for 35 minutes nearly. That is crazy. I, I need to will down these pick ons videos. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you guys agree with me on who you think is going to win each week. If you do not, comment below who you think is going to win each fight. Or if you disagree on me on one, comment it below. Tell me what you disagree on. Tell me actually 
if you do disagree with me, tell me why. Tell, tell me how you think that the other person is going to beat the person that I voted for. Tell me that. Explain to me. Alright, because I want to know what you guys think about each one of these matchups. Who thinks you, who you guys think is going to win, etc. And I know you coaches down the bottom there are going to be like, You didn't vote for me. I think I'm going to win because I'm going to six out everybody. That doesn't count, alright? Uh, so, peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the season of the PBA. And I'll probably see you at the end of this week, most likely. Uh, with the PBA matches, and uh, hopefully, uh, I get at least some of these pickums correct. If I get none incorrect, I'm going to literally blow my mind. <laughs> Come on, guys! I voted for you. <laughs> okay, peace out, guys. Bye. See you in the next video. Wait, I don't actually know. Is the next video gonna be the the league's battle? Is it gonna be like a different video? Yeah, I think it might be the GPL battle. Oh shit, okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye. I, I always say peace out, guys, then I end the video, then I said bye. That was kind of weird. Peace out, guys. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air like a blazing flare